Unit 2A, Analyzing Fiction. Number one, the climax of the story refers to the underlying message or big idea, struggle between opposing forces, the turning point in the story, the time and place where the story takes place. Number two, which of the following is not part of the exposition? Provides a series of actions that lead to the most exciting part of the story. Introduces the main character. Explains the time when the story is taking place. Provides the place where the story takes place. Number three, rising action refers to the time and place where the story takes place is the beginning of the story where the characters and setting are introduced, provides a series of actions that lead to the most exciting part of the story, is the underlying message or big idea. Number four, the resolution, events are explained, the conflict is resolved, and the story comes to an end, provides the time and place where the story takes place, is the beginning of the story where the characters and setting are introduced, shows the protagonist facing a series of conflicts in order to get what he or she wants. Number five, the conflict in the story shows the protagonist facing a series of conflicts in order to get what he or she wants, shows a struggle between opposing forces, is the underlying message or big idea, shows the time and place where the story takes place. Now read the passage and answer the questions, or the following questions. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. So pause the audio and read the story and then turn it back on. So number six, which word best describes the tone in paragraphs 26 through 28? Brutal, absurd, ambitious, scornful. In parag number seven, in paragraph three, why do the characters enter the garden in a procession? It is a formal way of walking that reflects the importance of the queen and king. The garden entrance is too narrow for the whole royal family to enter at once. The queen's safety is more secure when she enters the area surrounded by others. It allows the royal family to enter an area before the less important guests. Number eight. Why is the gardener's conversation with Alice in paragraphs one and two important? The reader learns that Alice goes out of her way to be friendly to everyone she meets. The gardener's painting the roses a different color starts the selection on a humorous note. The gardener's fear of the queen's anger foreshadows her actions throughout the selection. The reader is able to better visualize the layout of the queen's garden. Number nine, what can the reader conclude after reading paragraph 34? The king of hearts is terrified of displeasing the queen. The queen issues commands but rarely follows through with them. Everyone in Wonderland knows the queen is harmless. Events will change on a whim according to the queen's interest. Number 10. The root of the word mallets means hammer. Based on this information, what does the word mallets mean as it is used in paragraph 15? Instruments that play music. Equipment used to strike balls, equipment used to secure arches, instruments that ring bells. 
Number 11. Which sentence would be included in a summary of the selection? The queen demands that Alice joins a game of croquet. Alice wonders how anyone is left alive in the kingdom. All the croquet balls are actually hedgehogs. The duchess is very afraid of the queen. Number 12. What does paragraph 34 reveal about the king's point of view? He often disobeys the queen. He likes the members of the court. He knows that some of the queen's orders are unreasonable. He does not believe that anyone should be beheaded.